Here's a band, though. This is what impressed me the most. You see that logo? It's like a yin and yang kind of thing with the bear and the bull. And the bear and bull usually represent to me is um, posteriorly look, you know, and, you know uh, a positive outlook and a negative outlook. And you have that. It's like, it's a life. It's like life, right? Sometimes so one front blah, logo is like this and then back logo is that. So that uh, little bang out of it. And... Uh, Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today, finally, I can finally review something that is at the normal price range. It's not crazy. Everybody can go get. And I don't know why I keep looking for strong cigars, but hopefully it doesn't bother me. So today's one of the days where I don't eat. So I don't know. Why do I always choose like hard cigar on the time that I don't eat? Anyway, today is Crocs Bow and Bear. Okay. This is um, a double. No, it's not. It's a Robusto Extra, they call it. A Robusto Extra. It looks more like a Toro, but it's a Robusto Extra. Five and a half by 55. It's the Vitola. All right. And I don't know what happened, but Crocs has never been on my radar. And I think they changed through their design. And they must have because, like, I remember Crocs used to not look like this. And ever since they changed the design, they have always been on my radar to go find one and smoke one. All right. Um, I love the new design. And I don't know if the old one design is like this. I know this blend has been there for like since 2014. Okay, they had this blend for a long, long time. But it never catch me. That Croc cigar has never caught, caught me uh, to a point where I want to smoke them. But this design with the blue and uh, the bowl and bear logo thing, it, it got me. Like, I was like, I need to go find it. And when I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, I need to get it. I need to get it. And not only I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it size big. Okay, so that's how I got this one. MSRP A50, very affordable. Okay, and um, the wrapper is Albano. And binder and fillers in Nicaraguan. So, let's get started. Mm. It smells like bread. Where like those chocolate and espresso powder just spread on top. And this is like soft toast bread. Maybe with raisin in it. Maybe. That's pretty much what I smell. So that smells good. It smells inviting. It smells like promising. I don't really like the draw. I'm going to cut it again. Mm. 
a little bit better. Okay. Pepper. Now I taste pepper, hay, and leather. Yeah, and maybe a little bit of raisin. So let's light it up and get started. As usual, turn on my fan. That way I won't get I, my wife won't kill me over the smoke going upstairs while she's enjoying a TV show. Okay. I mean, usually she doesn't mind, but like if it leaks upstairs while she's enjoying the TV show, it bothers her. I mean, I could smoke upstairs, but usually I'll try to do it when she's not around. Because it does bother some people, you know? Sometimes she does go like, ah, oh, that smells pretty good. But like, not all the cigar smells like that way, so. All right. Getting started. All right, let's try. Huh? There's definitely has a little bit of spiciness, like pepper. There's wood. There is right now I just get wood and pepper. It tastes like just something is about to show up. It's very faint. Cashew nuts? Hold on. Some sort of nut. I only at the only at the Rachel Hill. Only at the Rachel Hill. What the? Yeah, and some other note. It's just not very clear of what that is. But pepper is clear. There's definitely some spice note to it. And a burnt taste. Like a smoky taste. Alright. Let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm at one third. Here's the thing. Like I said, I didn't like the draw. So I did a little bit of pulling. Got a little bang out of it. And uh, the draw got better. Now what it tastes like after I pulled that out. It tastes like... A not very strong chocolate walnut. Very, like watered down taste. It has that taste, but it's watered down. Like you literally need that retro hill. And there's a little bit of earthiness that came about for a little bit and went away. But now it's just very faint of it. I don't think it's a good combination, to be honest with you. But it does have some pleasant note. Okay. So the first third, it had trouble getting there. It's very faint of notes. Uh, you really require that retro hill. And obviously a better draw. And I think the draw is the issue here. It's not giving me the full smoke experience. Construction is not too bad. It burns fine. Uh, even though I was like, you know, picking on it. And then I did some research and I found that the band used to look like this. And now I know why I didn't pick it up. I didn't like the band. But now the band looks like this and the design looks like that. Of course, that caught my eyes. So whoever designed this, props to you. Big prop. You saved this company. You literally saved it. 
because now I feel like, you know, with this design, I should go try all the other ones because it's pleasing to my eyes. So, yeah, first there, very underwhelming um, performance. Uh, I think the strains are between a medium and medium plus right now. Um, for what it's worth, that strength does not go well with the uh, taste that you're getting. So hopefully it gets better. Hopefully it works its way up and it actually heats up and loosen up a little bit maybe. Uh, or if I just had to pick up another stem right here, I do see it. I just don't want to do it because it's at the edge of the wrapper. Um, if that was the case, I might have to do it, but hopefully I don't have to and continue to smoke and we'll see. Be right back. Second, third. All right. So second, third. Um, I believe and I feel like the strength had rimmed up to either medium plus to full. Okay. The flavor did increase. It Now it tastes like a, like a very smoky, slightly bitter chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah, slightly bitter dark chocolate. Um, there is a still a little bit of like walnut or some sort of nut going on. But that's pretty much it. You're not getting a lot for this cigar. But again, at the same time, the cigar doesn't cost you a lot. It's 850 So, I am okay with what you're getting out of the cigar for 850 I'm just not very happy about... Uh, the strength being a medium plus to plus. Unless you're someone that likes strength, which I still don't understand. Like to, to today, I still don't understand why people like strength. Because I'd rather have the body, the flavor, compared to the strength. I know that a lot of times to get the flavor, you put stronger tobacco in there to get the flavor. But it's not balanced. Like when you're testing it, you should know. It's like, oh, that much flavor compared to this much of strength, it's not really balanced. Let's change something up. But they don't. You know, even when they rebranded and stuff like that, they didn't fix that. I don't know how it was before, but, you know, it will be something that, like, you know, out this time, maybe we can lower the string a little bit, add more flavor. But that didn't change. So that's the downfall of this cigar. But at this moment, 850, okay, I understand. Right? And if I have more food, this string probably wouldn't bother me, but I didn't have any food, so it will bother me. So what does that mean? That means that this cigar cannot be a morning cigar. That's all. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. Like if you has ate, ate your meal throughout the day, medium plus wouldn't bother you. Full probably wouldn't bother you. But if you have the cigar first thing in the day with your coffee and stuff like that, you probably not gonna like it. You probably gotta be like, oh, okay, that feel kind of heavy. And then you go about your day, you're not going to be very happy about it, right? So yeah, last stir. Let's finish this up. Let's take a look at this beautiful band. If I can remove it, I'm going to figure out how to remove it because the center part is hollow. So I don't want to rip it. But yeah, last stir. Be right back. All right, last stir. So that's the bad news. Last stir. The flavor went down. And it has this like raw, almost rotten vegetable taste. Like you're drink drinking a V8 that's not sweet, but at the same time has some sort of like a really like vegetable stink um, flavor. I'm trying to figure out, uh, try to give you an example. Like you know how cucumber has that taste? Like if you do a cucumber juice, it has a like a really rotten taste or like a very earthy vegetable taste. It's like that, but VA kind of without a tomato. And, and and that kind of ruined the flavor. So for it to go up to medium plus, almost full-ish, full-ish um, string and have that ne negative note, it really ruins it. Really ruins it. So yeah, A50, I can see it. That's fine. You know, it's basic price of cigar and you know at that price range i can totally see it it's not a big deal some people might like it i don't know but i think i did get an eight dollar fifty cents worth of enjoyment so 850 is fine here's a band though this is what impressed me the most 
You see that logo? It's like a yin and yang kind of thing with the bear and the bull. And the bear and bull usually represent to me is um, posterity look, you know, and, you know, uh, a positive outlook and a negative outlook. And you have that. It's like it's a life. It's like life, right? Sometimes you have good, sometimes you have bad. You know, it's like it's pretty cool. I I like it. And and the, see the quartz emblem, a lot better than what they had before. And the quartz emblem is in the back, like this. So one front blah, logo is like this, and then back logo is that. So that even when you have the cigar in the opposite side when you picked it up, it still has a logo there. It looks pretty cool. I like I like that uh, design. I was uh, surprised I can even take this band apart with that little thin line there without breaking it. I do like that, you know, they have the cutout, so it looks kind of special. It shows a little bit more of the cigar color. It blends in well. I like this color theme. They have other colors, uh, other blends, so I'm, I probably will end up choosing those to review, and, and we'll see where that goes. But $8.50, totally fine, all right? And I think that people can pick up this cigar and give it a try because it's not a, you know, break your bank try out the cigar kind of thing this is a very typical cigar uh with some good notes some good notes now well obviously i wouldn't say this is all oh, 10 out of 10 cigar for 850 but you know it will get you 850 with the with the enjoyment all right so yeah that's it for the cigar review i hope you guys like it if you like it like subscribe share comment uh join me on the path of getting 1000 subscribers we've got to try that we're going to try to get there. I, I see in the past, I never really care about it. But, you know, uh, um, Eric Smokwani, if you have one, he's like, you know what? We need to get the channel to be more subscribers and stuff like that because I've been having this channel for so long. It makes it kind of weird that nobody else here watch, watch the, the content when, you know, I'm sharing my experience. I don't know. Uh, and so, you know, if you don't mind to help, share it. You know, tell, tell a friend to watch it, like it, comment on it, you know, get this video out there so people can see the cigar review before they buy it maybe it'll save you a few bucks having not having to buy certain cigars right all right i'll see you guys next time bye guys